Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Negative Zero and today I thought I would show you how to install and use mods for Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy on the Android platform. If you weren't aware, there is an unofficial port of Jedi Academy available on the Amazon App Store. It may be unofficial, but it is legitimate since Raven Software released the source code for the game several years ago. If you don't have Jedi Academy on your Android device, and you're interested in making that happen, I will have a link in the description of this video to another video I made explaining how to do that. It's a little complicated, but still very doable. That video was actually made for Jedi Outcast, the previous game in the series, but the installation for Jedi Academy is done exactly the same way. Anyway, mods. There are several really cool skins you can install into your single player campaign, and there are some new adventures and storylines you can experience as well. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're interested in installing mods on either the PC version or the Android version of the game, you're going to want to know about a little website called jkhub.org. So let's go ahead and go there. And this is what the website looks like. There are a ton of mods. There's a forum section. There's all kinds of stuff going on. There's a Jedi Academy section. There's also a Jedi Outcast section if you're interested in that. I have only really explored the skins and the single, the single player section. I haven't done anything else. I haven't played multiplayer at all on Android. I have no idea what that's like. But if you check out the single player section, there will be a lot of skin mods for your character and there will be a number of different adventures that you can take. So we're gonna go ahead and explore some of those things right now. Once you've decided which mods you wanna try out, you're going to download them and they will probably go to your downloads folder on your Android device. I've got two of them. One is a skin for Darth Maul and the other one is a single player adventure called Eve of Redemption. We're going to go ahead and put the files in a little folder called Boloco. Now that, that file will show up once you run the Android version of the game. Jedi Academy is called JK3 Touch. And you'll see that on the Amazon App Store. Once you run it for the first time, you'll get this folder. And in this folder, you can see I've got Jedi, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, as well as Jedi Academy as well. In each of these folders, you'll have a demo and a full. In the full folder, you'll have the base folder. Now this folder is going to be very important for any skin that you want to install. Now that I'm using the Explore File Manager app and I love this one because I don't need to fully unzip the folder. I can just look inside of it. They have all these screenshots of what Darth Maul is gonna look like. But the only file we really care about is this DT Maul SP, the PK3 file. Those are the mod files for Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast. They're always a .pk3. So we're gonna pick that one and we're going to put it into the base folder. So I think I've got that. Nope, I don't have that lined up. Hold on, let me go ahead and click on this. There we go. And we're gonna get the Darth Maul and we're gonna copy that over and it's going to go into the base folder. There we go, it's right there. Perfect. Let's get out of that. Let's go back up here. We have the other mod as well. This, Since this is a single player mission or campaign or adventure, whatever you want to call it, it works a little bit different. It does not go into the base folder. In fact, let me get out of here. We're actually going to go to the full folder. So here we go. When you have these sort of separate run mods that aren't just skins, you want the folder that is immediately, that contains the PK3 file. So the folder that contains the PK3 file, which is this one folder, sometimes you have a folder and then another folder. So watch out for that. So I'm going to pick that up. I want the folder and this, oh. Well, I think I can just do the whole folder and I am going to go into the base into the full folder, you can see on the right, not into the base folder, like so. Let me get out of this and let's look inside. Let's look inside the redemption folder and you can see we don't really need the README. In fact, 
This is going to be the one time that I talk about modding on Android where the README is not your best tool. In fact, if you look at the README instructions, they're going to say some different things because the PC version is different than the Android version. And it's going to tell you to put your mod files in a different place or what have you. I, I wouldn't use the README for this specific game because things are a little bit different. A lot of the readmes say, use the batch file. We're not gonna use the batch file. That's not what we're gonna do. Anyways, you don't really need the readme file at all, but keep in mind that the base file or, or the redemption file or any mod that's a separate adventure will be next to the base file while any skin that you use will be in the base file and you don't use the folder. You'll notice I didn't use the folder for the Darth Maul uh, skin. I've just got the PK3 itself. So be careful how you do that. That's everything that I've explored as far as this goes. Let's go ahead and run the game and see if this all worked out. So I've launched the JK3 Touch app and here we are in the main menu of Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. If I start a new game, you will see that if I, oh, and I've got a mouse hooked up to my Shield TV. The menus in this game are set up for touch. I've got a Shield TV console. The controller doesn't work great in the menus, but it works great in the game. So I'll, I've also got a mouse hooked up for these menus. You can see if I click right here, I've got Darth Maul. And I can pick from three different versions of him, it looks like. We've got the, uh, the robe. He's got more, um, more stuff. Oh, he's a little bit see-through here. And he's way see-through here. Uh, I think I like this one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like in game. That would be so great. So there he is, our main character, Darth Maul, looking very Darth Maul-ish. He looks pretty good. I actually kind of like this mod. Let's get out of here and check out the other mod I installed, Eve of Redemption. In order to load any missions or adventures separate from the vanilla game, you need to head over to the setup section and into the section, the subsection called mods, and you'll see all of the folders that have been installed next to the base folder as I showed earlier. So we're going to click on this and we're going to load the mod. They don't always have a separate screen like this. Sometimes they come back and they look exactly like the main menu, but you go ahead and click new and we're going to go ahead and begin and check out the beginning of this mod at least. The hook for this game is that you get to play as one of the reborn from Jedi Outcast. You get to fight against some gangster scum. You get to fight against some stormtroopers or whatever these guys are. Get over here. And you get to fight against Jedi, and you get to fight against the Disciples of Ragnos from, uh, from Jedi Academy. Now, it's not much to look at here because you're in the sewers. It does get better later on. So anyway, you can see that the mod clearly works. This is something I'm going to explore in the future, some of the various single player missions that you can check out on my channel, there to come. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Take care.